Okay, guys, help me. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me clearly? Someone wave to me if you can hear me. Perfect. Okay. So thank you very much, guys, for joining in um, to my regular migration series um, where I literally use every resource at my disposal to educate people as to how to move abroad legally within the legal boundaries. Um, I use my social media, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter to educate people um, as to how to move to different countries across the world. So if you're looking to move via education or job opportunities, the first point you want to go to is my YouTube channel, Waka Waka Doctor. Um, earlier this week, I decided that we should start a series uh, to kind of educate people as to moving abroad um, 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 which, with teaching profession, with the teaching profession. So I've titled this Moving Abroad as a Teacher. Um, some of these countries is going to be a series of six countries. So we're going to do a series of six countries uh, to help people move abroad. Um, and I'm going to be bringing up people who, who live in these countries, who work in these countries as teachers. Some of these countries require teaching experience. Other countries don't require teaching experience. So we're going to do a mix. And at the end of the day, the choice will be yours only. Okay. So today, I decided to start with the first person uh, who lives in Japan. So we're going to start the first episode with Japan, moving abroad as a teacher to Japan um, with no experience. You don't need any experience at all. Um, she lives in Japan. She works as a teacher in Japan, and she's going to tell you a story. So you don't need any um, 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 qualification, any teaching experience to go to Japan to become a teacher. So I'm going to bring her up because it's better hear from her um, so that she can tell you everything that you need to do. Now, if you have questions to ask, just leave it in the um, comment section and we'll do our best to answer all your questions. So let me bring her up. Let me bring her up so that we can get this started. Okay. Um, so how how to move abroad we all want to move abroad hey what's up hi <laughs> how are you doing uh -uh. i'm fine thank you this your smile is japanese how is it Jap <laughs> how please it's a japanese smile thank you very okay. much for for joining me and I'm um glad, even you. giving me the opportunity to have you on my platform thank you so much thank you too. um i know that you're 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 pressed for time so we'll go we'll dive right in and yeah. we can we can answer as many questions as possible so tell us um this country japan a lot of people would have said when i made posts um about anytime i make posts about asia and and and, and stuff they usually are afraid about the fact that ah um um organ trafficking um um they kill people in that place okay so tell us tell us a few things about japan let's start with that tell us about japan okay i definitely understand your their fear at first <laughs> because i mean um i had my parents you know, wondering what, why, you know, it's too far from Nigeria. But, like, Japan is, I think, is really, it's a beautiful country. It's not like I think. It's very safe. You don't feel like you don't belong. You know, they, they welcome you. You just really feel like you belong. Like, I, I mean, you don't belong, but you belong, if you understand. Yeah, yeah. Like, I, like I understand they're very you respectful. Mean. You know, they're very, very respectful. The people, they're just willing to help. So, like, once they know you're a foreigner and you just ask a question, everyone wants to help you and go the extra mile. So, like, for instance, maybe you're looking for maybe somewhere, you're just, like, location. You want to find out, oh, where is this place? They literally turn back. So, if they are going this direction and you're going that direction, they turn back and they actually follow you to make sure that you actually get to where you need to, you know, go to. So, it's a beautiful country and I don't and, think... And you, do you speak some Japanese now? Would you say uh, koni, konichiwa? Is that konichiwa, a, yes. Konichiwa. Ah, yes. See, I, I speak Japanese too. <laughs> I mean, you just learned that one. Yeah, I just I speak a bit because, I mean, I'm always interacting with children 
and you know the teachers it kind of i don't know it was you try to speak japanese i mean it it allows every other person try to communicate with you because they are usually very shy to have yeah. a conversation with you yeah so like when you just try they now all come and then they try to like speak I mean, it's not easy, but you have to just pick out a, a few things and guess what they might be trying to tell you. But okay, fantastic. So we've had good things. One more thing about Japan. African food. You're an African. How do you survive? Yeah. Do you have African food there? Yes, 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 yes. I'm really glad I, I, I do. Yeah, so there's an African shop. I mean, it's not everywhere. You have to... I order. So it may be in Tokyo... Or I don't know anywhere, but I usually order from an African lady. When you come, there's actually African food, and then there's like a halal shop, like all these Indian packet. So they kind of have some of the African things, you know, their spices are like are very similar to ours, and also yeah, it'll be fine. Okay, so let's let's dive right into the main question. Okay, where are you from originally, and how did you get to? I mean, what do you do in Japan at the moment? Okay, so I'm from Nigeria, <laughs> and um, how, how, what, how long have I been in Japan? No, how long have you been in Japan? What do you do in Japan? Okay, so I've been in Japan for a year and five months, and I teach. And you teach, fantastic, a year and five months and you teach. So the main question now, and what everybody is hoping to hear is, how did you move from Nigeria to Japan as a teacher. We had we had a previous discussion where you said you didn't have any teaching experience at all. Yeah. How did so, you do it? Yeah, so um when I when I moved, you know, it was just like a time when I just needed something different, you know, and you know, it was just the pandemic. I moved like at the peak of pandemic 2020. So, like, I mean, I had to do my research. I know that it's not like China. China would not really consider your application because, you know, you're, you're, not, you're not considered an English speaker. So it was just like to find, like, um, a company. You just find a country that wasn't um, so racist or, you know, that. So I, Japan came to mind. They, are, they really, really need teachers. And even though they they don't they want a native speaker they don't mind if you have like you can speak like a native um speaker right so i just did my research you go to gaijin ports i went to gaijin port at the time what's gaijin port so it's like a foreigner it's like a if oh gaijin so like Jap gaijin yeah gaijin, okay, so yeah foreigners. to just find yeah um requirements right and sometimes you see native speaker, um, native level speaking and all. I just think I just have to apply, right? Because, I mean, you just have to try apply. And then you get your interview links. And, I mean. So what's the website? Was there a particular website you applied to? Yeah, so when you go to Gaijin Port, so you usually see okay, like. Okay, so the website is called Gaijin Port. Can you spell that for us? G A J. I N Guy. Okay. Gajin. Yeah. So, Gajin yeah. Port. Is it P O R T or P O T? No, no, P O T. P O T. Gajin Port. Okay. So if you put that on Google, it comes out straight away, yeah? Yes. Gajin. Okay. If, if, if I don't spell it right, I think there's an I before the J, whatever, but it starts. It, it okay. won't change between them. Okay. So Gajin Port. Um, yes. G, G, G A J I N P O T. I N P O T. Yeah. And then you you now you now check you now check for the jobs. Yeah. Okay. Yes, okay. but I currently like have like links to like particular companies so that you don't have to go through the whole. You know, ah. Thing okay. For... So what we're gonna do is please after this you send me those links. Okay. Guys, I'm going to attach the links to this video and it will also be on my YouTube channel. I'll put all the links there so that you can start applying. Let me ask you, are you teaching in a primary school or a secondary school? I'm currently teaching in an elementary school, which is like a primary school. Elementary. They call it elementary. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. So what are the requirements? What documents do people need to have um, to be able to, to, to apply for these jobs? So you have to have a BSc or a BA. Like, you just have to be educated. You have to have TEFL. 
you know, care for certificate, you have to get it. And nothing else, just get your resume ready. Wait, wait, wait. So just be educated. Yes. Have a CV. Yes. And Have do that that um, yeah. that TFL. Yes. Finish. Yeah, and then your passport, obviously. <laughs> and that TFL is free. Oh. Yes, it's free. But at the time when I took it, I I had to pay, so I did not know there was like a free site. Where I yeah, I saw. I posted. I posted the free site. It's on my Instagram. Yeah. Um, yeah. On my Instagram feed. Yeah. Um, that there's a free site that. where you can do the TFL. Yes. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, what if someone has um, HND, doesn't have a BSc, can the person still try? So I've been getting that question a lot. Um, I think this HND thing is, is just particular to Nigeria. But I said to people, try. Because try. we just never know. I don't want to say, oh, it's just BSc. But that's what I'm sure of. So maybe if you ever get the link to the interview and, you know, you never know. I just think people should just try, you know. Sometimes you see that, oh, you're meant to be an English speaker and you try and, I mean, you speak so well that they don't realize that you're not, you know. And wow. you're so speaking. do you need, do you need IELTS? No, like you don't need that. You don't need IELTS. So basically, all you need is your international passport, yes. TEFL, yes. um, your BSc yeah. degree, yes. and and what was the last thing you said? Um, your resume, CV. Your resume, your CV. Oh my God! Can can people people move with family? Um, hmm. that's really. <laughs> Um, Everybody wants to have really. your family. I guess no, because I mean sometimes you have to go alone. So then when you're in the country, you begin because you know Japan is a bit closed. Yes. It's, it's not their visas are not very easy to get. You have to have a specific reason for being in that country. So you as a person, you're coming just as an instructor. I mean, you're not, I mean, just coming and then you might go to the city hall and find out how you can apply send a request for your family but i would suggest that you don't say you know the people have been seeing that come with their spouse or something they always apply together, they always so apply they both, together. yeah so on in the on the application form oh i'm applying with my wife or the, the, so they if they're employing they employ the both of you so you can come together on an issue yeah so both yeah both yeah. people apply for jobs okay yeah Please, people are asking, what's the meaning of TEFL? Teaching English as a foreign language. Teaching English as a foreign language. So, um, now, another question that's coming up is, when you're applying for your visa, do you need proof of funds to apply for visa? Okay, so, no, you don't need proof of funds, but I, I mean, I don't, because it's as you... Say that, that again. I want to hear it again. I want to hear it again. You don't you need don't proof of need funds. You don't need proof of funds because um, it's what? as you that the company is... Um, Sponsoring your sponsoring visa. you, yeah. Wow, wow. Okay, so another thing is now a few people are saying you you've listed that you said you don't need teaching experience really. You just yes. need to package your CV to look like a CV. Very, that yes. You have an idea. I mean, do, don't do. say you don't have a teaching experience. Yeah, obviously. Obviously, you can lie. I mean, you taught your 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 cousin. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. that's a teaching experience. You, you, it's, it's, it's all about packaging your resume, packaging your resume. What, what they require. Yeah. Um, um, now, another thing is, so for those who actually have the teaching experience, maybe an NCE, um, a National Certificate um, in Education, um, they'll be more, more um, qualified for the position. As I said, apply. I think everybody's qualified at this point. Once you're educated, at this point, at this point you are qualified, educated. yes. And you're okay. able to like pass the interview and also. Okay. So let me say this again. Um, let, me, let me rewind and say that what you need for, I mean, as a requirement is you need your um, TEFL certificate, which yeah. you can get for free. Yeah. And I'm going to post the links right on my YouTube channel. So if you go to my YouTube channel, um, in the description box, I will put the links where you can get the TEFL certificate for free, okay? Mm -hmm. Then I will post links where you can also apply for jobs mm -hmm. and start making your application. So TEFL, you need your international passport, you need your bachelor's degree or HND certificate. 
and you also need your resume, your CV. You need to draft a very strong CV and start applying for jobs. I would also post links where you can apply for these jobs so you can start. Now, another question I have, and I'm sorry, if you don't want to answer this question, you don't have to. No. Okay. Give us a range of the salary because one of the reasons why people move to these countries is, of course, to, 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 to improve their financial standing. Yeah. You know, so Niger Nigerians, for instance, I know I have a wide array of audience. So I have people listening from South Africa, Kenya, India and the likes and the salary varies. But I will talk mm -hmm. as a Nigerian. I know teachers get maybe 40,000 Naira, which is about, um, say, $80 per month. Okay. Mm -hmm. What's the salary like in Japan? So it's... I mean, for Japan, it's like 150,000 yen to um, 300,000 yen. So, like, so 150,000 yen is, is like about $1,600? Yes, around that. $1,500 okay. um, to $3,000. $3,000. And if you, let's assume you end the, the lowest end of the spectrum, $1,500, would you be able to save, pay your rent, and, you um, know? I definitely I think you should if you're a frugal I think everything it depends on who who the person you know how person, you handle yeah. your finances you don't I mean when you come here um your rent it's Japan can be expensive but you can do it but you can it depends on it depends on the city as well Tokyo yeah, will be more expensive than of course and usually they won't post you to Tokyo actually Tokyo yeah, yeah. 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 so they will usually post you to do it um rural areas so you don't have to worry so you might actually see you save a lot yeah you would save a lot this is fantastic so um someone is <laughs> someone is asking she's a special needs teacher does she stand a chance she's a special needs teacher does she stand a chance as long as you have um like a qualification it's it don't it's not about being a special needs teacher you can be that but maybe you, you really need to have like a certificate just like that you went to school <laughs> okay really okay now do they, what, during the process when they are applying do they need to attest the documents so there's no need to attest the documents no that's usually for china no i don't they don't need that okay now um a couple of questions before you go i know you have like eight minutes more before you go the interview yeah, process do. the interview process to get the job how is it like so it varies from like companies some companies have like been interviewed two times twice for instance border link so when you have border link the first interview is just like an orientation stuff and then they ask you questions they, they group you and then they just like watch you have a conversation with other like people from all over the world and then if you pass that first stage you go over to the second stage which is now like a personal interview a one-on-one -on -one interview with the japanese or anybody that is interviewing you another company is just one interview like just your one-on-one -on -one interview and that's it that's it but usually the whole process. In their time everything is in their time right so okay. it can be at this time you know late you know or yeah really late for nigeria and really yeah so yeah okay so it's japanese time yeah. Um, so another question I have is, um, how long does the whole process take? So because of COVID right now, I've been getting a lot of messages. Oh, it's taking a while because the borders, you know how Japan, you know, Japan yeah. is really, really touchy about this COVID. So they're always closing the borders. So mine just, I started applying in May. I applied in May and I got my contract of employment, which is COE that you take to the embassy in, I think in June. But I mean, at the time, it was only, it had to be sent to the UK because Nigeria wasn't accepting packages. So okay. I got it in, yeah, I got it in July and I applied in August. So it doesn't really take time, three months at most, at most without this COVID thing three months okay. they send you your documents and you apply and the visa doesn't really take time i mean they tell you two months two weeks but i mean i got mine like in two days and your employer does your employer you know pay you relocation fees 
travel cost or that one no. is on your own. No, no. So that, that's that's it. You see, that that's a problem. So um, that's not a big problem, but that's that's just the you have to sponsor your coming to Japan, and they are not paying for your accommodation or anything. Like when you come, you're just you really need to sort yourself out. That's another. Sort yourself thing. out. Yeah. Well, um, one can ask for much. Now, um, one more question or a couple of more questions before you go. Yeah, I sure. want to assume that the interview is done in English, of course. But yes. can you give us give us an idea of what kind of questions they usually ask? Okay. Um, so questions like, oh, why did you choose this company? Why Japan? Um, what other question? Um, so they ask like, oh, what would you do if there's a special need child in your class? How would you like teach them? You know, so I have those questions on, on my YouTube as well. Possible interview questions. Yeah. Hold on. You have a YouTube channel? Yes, I do. What's your YouTube channel? Telma E. Telma E. So, guys, if you're interested in how to do it and how to move to Japan um, as a teacher, follow her um, right now. It's Emerua Telma. You can send her DMs. I'm sure that when she has time, she will respond to your DM. Um, tell Emerua Telma. E M E R U A. Thelma, T H E L M A. And of course, um, you can also check her on YouTube, Thelma E. Um, and she has videos explaining the whole process. I will leave this video right here on my um, Instagram feed. Um, I will put in the links um, for you to get your TOEFL free um, and, and your TEFL free and also the um, links you. of the jobs. Okay. I would also put up this video on my YouTube channel where you can also um, check out the links in the description box. Look, Thelma, I know you have to go now, so I'm not going to take much of your time, but I'm sure that you've answered a lot of questions about how to move. My job here is done. I only would encourage you people to try, apply, do it. If it's 10 people that can get jobs and move to Japan, yeah. I've succeeded. Yeah. Thank you very much for coming on my show. Thank Guys, you so much. I'll see you again next week or some other time where we'll talk about another country where you can move as a teacher. Thank you very much, Thelma. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank Bye. you. Bye.